All right, YouTube, this is Northern Planet with Bug Out Bag 2 out of 5. Um, in this pack, uh, we're going to look at the differences between this pack and the pack that we just looked at was I bought a vacuum sealer before I started assembling this pack. So you're going to see that I went a little crazy with it. Um, excessive is one, one term that I wouldn't disagree with, but um, it is pretty smart if the pack were to fall into water or if you did have to you know endure heavy rainfall so this is a Gregory pack it's slightly less durable I would say than the other pack it still has the ripstop nylon which is very useful not designed to carry as heavy a load but it has a solid hip belt which you want on the outside of this pack I've got bear spray which is important uh, depending where you go um, I've also got two pouches on the hip belt for this pack which is really nice so inside here I've got a quick little meal that you can grab on the go. Um, these are something I picked off on Amazon. And so what these are is they're a, a credit card size, I believe it's called a Fresno lens, which allows you to use the sun and you can start a fire with them. So I've put these in each of the packs. Um, in this I also have some more food and I think there's a flint and steel in here. So flint and steel in this one is uh, really a nice nice feature to have. If you do get a flint and steel you should make sure that you know how to use it because they can be quite frustrating and it's not just about making sparks you actually have to really get in there and grind that flint to create enough of a a strip to to catch some of your your uh, tinder on fire so on the other side of this pack i've got in here it's a crkt this is a um, i think it's called the dragon fighting knife so this one i like having with me in the event that um something something goes south or I, when i'm hunting i like to have it with me too a lot of times you don't have a lot of time to react so having it right on your hip belt it's very very quick for me to grab that I also have on this hip belt another pouch which has um, a headlamp. So this is my good headlamp. I know in the other video I'd said make sure that you don't put your best camping gear in your bug out bag. Um, but this is also my hunting pack so it's very good to have. This is, uh, this is a, I believe this one is a black diamond headlamp. It has the blue, green and the regular white light. Uh, the blue is really useful if you're doing any um, any blood trail tracking so very useful to have that for a hunting pack um, I do live in Canada so some of the things I have in this pack I just put them in I do have to store firearms in a different place it's safer um, but you can keep your ammo in the pack so I do have the vacuum sealed ammo in here for guns that we would likely grab if we had to get out of here 22 ammo 243 um, and then this is something that I did, and this would be stored elsewhere, so we would have to remember to grab this, but I vacuum sealed a handgun, and it is, uh, I vacuum sealed it with the trigger, um, trigger guard, which is good. Um, toilet paper, so in the other video, I just had the toilet paper in Ziploc bags, and this one I vacuum sealed it. Quite a difference, it's, uh, it's pretty hard, so... A good way to keep toilet paper dry as well as um, save room. So this is the larger, this is the larger gravity-based. Let me just pause for a larger gravity water filtration system. I haven't used it. I looked it up online. I was going to go with either a uh, MSR version or there was a um, I can't remember the name of the other one that I liked. Uh, Catadyne one, but this one was quite a bit cheaper and I figured for a bug out bag it's probably not going to get used uh, if all goes well. Rice, so I vacuum packed some rice in this pack. Um, some additional toiletries, so toothbrush, toothpaste, whatever else um, inside this pack. Some cheap disposable gloves. Uh, and I only call them cheap and disposable because they're basically all ripped up. These were ski gloves. Really nice when I when they were in good shape, but now they're sort of disposable. But I figured instead of throwing them out, they're good for a bug out bag. Uh, this is a toque. And inside here, I have a FLIR thermal imaging gun. So this is very useful at nighttime or 
you know, if it's really cold, you can see what's out there. I use it for hunting when I have to locate an animal that, um, that we need to find. So, um, very, very useful if you're looking at predators or if you're just worried about other people. It's good to see what's around you. Um, these are the zip strips, same, I think they're 48 inch zip strips, so you don't have to daisy chain them together to get around something. Uh, or if the kids are getting out of control, you could zip strip your kids together and uh, you know maybe they'll think twice about fighting. So inside this pack, I also have the emergency blankets, so not the cheap ones. It's a little bit more durable. You could use it as an outside bivy in an emergency, um, but it is a bit uh, breathable. They always say waterproof breathable, but um, you know, if you're really working up a sweat, it's not gonna be able to evaporate the moisture as quick. So take it with a grain of salt. In the pack, I also have what I believe it's called a uh, this is like a manual chainsaw, so it's basically um, used for cutting down trees. So you just saw it back and forth and it'll cut through uh, fairly easily. I haven't used them, but I debated between this one and the wire one. And I guess I just figured that the chain would be a little bit more durable. Um, so that one is very, very useful and it has these paracord. If you ever needed to take it apart, you could use the, the length here for something else. But if you're that desperate, um, things have gone bad. A few other things in the bag. Um, once again, we just bought a bunch of these before we started buying the, the nicer emergency blankets. But uh, something's better than nothing. If you ever need to give them to someone else, it's nice to have them. You could use them as a rain poncho if you needed to. Uh, and like I talked about before, it, they give these away for free at the search and rescue. If you know somebody who's in search and rescue, they can they can give you a couple of these things. They're very useful for signaling. Um, I have a knife in here. You definitely need to have a knife in every pack. Uh, skinning knife, so very useful. This was on Amazon as a cigarette lighter. And I tried it with a rolled up piece of paper and it works fantastic. So. This is really designed for um, focusing the sun onto really a cigarette, but you could put a piece of paper with a twig in there and it, it works really well. It's like, an, it's like a never ending lighter. So I do put that in the pack. I'm a little worried it might get scratched because it's plastic, but um, you know, redundancy, it's better to have extra things than not enough. Um, I have a compass here. Um, you really do need a map. Just having the compass is kind of useless. Um, but if you do know any orienteering, you can you make sure that you have this. I do have a map that I will will need to put in the pack. Um, and then on the inside top of this pack, here's where we've got the other piece of the um, water filtration system. So this is a Sawyer. Uh, it says that it can do, I thought it was 2,000 liters, um, but it seemed a little excessive because it's such a small filter, but it would go down to one micron, which uh, point, point 0.1 micron, which will get rid of your cryptosporidium and your giardia. Uh, it won't do viruses. If you're worried about viruses, you do have to boil your water. And then I just got a, a few of the cheap little ramen or Ichiban type soup packages that we would pa have in this one. The majority of the food is going to be in packs two through five. So, you know, I am a family of six and we wanted to make sure that we shared the load equally. So the heavier stuff is in the mom and dad pack and then the kids have lighter stuff with, with some, some low nourishment meals, but um, enough to keep you alive for a little bit of time. Um, also have in this pack, this is a portable battery source. So it is, it, it's designed to charge the thermal imaging thermal imaging gun and the last thing we have in here once again I go with the BIC it's just yet another way to start a fire very reliable and that's pack two out of five once again I would not keep my firearm in this pack you'd have to grab it as you leave it's kept in a safe it's in compliance with all the storage regulations in, in Canada. Um, once again, this is Northern Planet with Bug Out Bag 2 out of 5. If you like, subscribe. Um, 
and we'll see you in the next video.